Okay, so let me propose a theory to you. The metaverse has been, is now on everyone's mind. Everybody's flooding into the market. People are looking for coins and projects, you know, low cap gems to try to capitalize, find the next Decentraland, essentially. But there's one aspect that I think a lot of people are overlooking. And this aspect actually highlights two assets that will be essentially the backbone to the metaverse okay now i've gathered this assumption from my research uh not just with today's video but as i've been researching solana's genopets and devikins and other metaverse projects um i'm seeing a pattern okay and i'm gonna enlighten you to the pattern that i'm seeing but first i'm gonna give you some context now we saw DeFi. We saw how it burst onto the scene, was making millionaires overnight, and, you know, took over the summer. We saw that, right? What followed that was NFTs. NFT summer appeared. Everybody has their own NFTs now. NFT cyberpunks are making people millionaires and so forth and so on, right? We saw that, okay? What was the underlining thread for both those events? Ethereum. Okay. Now, moving over to Binance. Okay. Now, the story over with Binance is not as beautiful because, you know, a lot of it has come from regulation and so forth and so on. But behind the scenes, Binance has still been developing the Binance smart chain. As a matter of fact, I believe almost a hundred million dollars was allocated from CZ himself for the development of Binance Smart Chain as well as other, you know, uh, investors as well. So the Binance Smart Chain has been being worked on behind the scenes uh, in spite of the regulatory pressure that Binance is receiving. So that, again, brings us back to my theory. The pattern that I am seeing play out with a lot of these metaverse games and NFT games in general they're all built on either Ethereum or Binance, okay? That would mean that in order for these this metaverse to truly come into its own, in order for, the, for blockchain gaming to take over the space like it is aiming to do, Binance and Ethereum have to perform exceptionally well. So, Piecing it all together, here's the picture that I see coming together. Here's what I see happening over the next few months. A potential catalyst for getting Ethereum not only to 7,000, 8,000, getting Binance to 1,000, maybe 1,200. It was the metaverse. DeFi got us over 1,000, 15, 16, $1,700 Ethereum, 2,000, you know, $2,500 Ethereum. Then the NFTs came that pushed us past 3000. We saw new all time high, so forth and so on. Binance had a similar story. You know, once games started to appear on the Binance smart chain and stuff like that, NFTs, airdrops, you know, their work with Tron and all, you know, with all due respect, Tron could be in this conversation as well because Tron already hosts. There's Wink. Of course, there's Ape NFT. Now, for the lack of for the sake of the conversation, Wink is more focused on gaming, but Tron and Clever are also closely related, and Clever has Devikins. So, piecing all that together, guys, I don't want you to go into this metaverse phase lacking any information. And I felt that this point was important to share because I kept seeing this pattern. A lot of these games, with the exception of Geno Pets as of right now, uh, they are solely dependent on Ethereum and Binance. That would mean that in order for the metaverse to be successful, in order for the blockchain gaming industry to be successful, Ethereum and Binance have to be successful. So. Let's look at what Ethereum is looking to do over the next eight months. We all know we have Ethereum 
We just had the Altair upgrade, which brought us one step closer. Ethereum has activated this deflationary mechanism that's burning Ethereum at a rapid rate that's constantly increasing the price. Only thing we need now is a catalyst for more adoption. And if the metaverse is about to be the next big thing, blockchain games, and that's also going to incorporate NFTs, and a lot of these NFT projects, these metaverse gaming projects are building on Ethereum, that's your catalyst right there, guys. And this time, it's going to be shared with Binance. Okay? So that's why I knew all the regulation and, and the stories and the changing of CEOs and CTOs and all of this and stepping down and stepping up and replacing that Binance was going through. It, they were moving from a technical company to a financial institution because they need to become a financial institution because their smart chain is going to be handling a lot of finance because they're going to be essentially the bed for the video game industry of the future. For Ethereum, the metaverse and video games will just be added to the pillar. Ethereum already has decentralized finance, it has NFTs, and now it has the metaverse. That's the trifecta. Yeah. <laughs> uh, piecing it all together, guys. That's 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 what I'm giving you. Okay. Very important that we do not miss an element here. It's it's very important that we don't get overly excited. You know, money's being made. These games are fun. These projects are exciting. You know, we, it, it's kind of a feeling of validation. We've been holding some of these coins for quite some time and having our own, you know, fantasies about them. One day they will be the major coins and all of this. And then Mark Zuckerberg just came out of nowhere, stepped up to the plate and hit a grand slam for all of us. That's good, but we still need to pay attention. We still need to pay attention, okay? What all goes with video games? Retail, advertising, interaction, user monetization. There are so many other elements that come with video games that is going to be accentuated now that the metaverse is here, okay? Ethereum, the master of decentralized finance. We know this. They've already solidified that, okay? The institutions are coming in and solidifying that. Once Binance receives, once it gets its full regulatory approval and there's no more scrutiny on it, there's nothing stopping Binance from having the exact same position that Ethereum does. It's nothing stopping it. Okay. That man is not stepping down. He is uh, cooperating with regulators. It's for a reason. All right. One thing I've learned about this crypto space, guys, and I'm gonna let you go, is that, yeah, crypto, coded message, which means that oftentimes, the events that we see play out in the crypto space are trickle down effects from what's happening in the other parts of the world. Okay. Always got to remember that. That's why I aimed for global adoption with a global perspective, because I knew just driving all in on one coin was not going to be valuable to anybody. Everybody's already doing that. There are at least 14, <laughs> 15, 17, 25 different channels that just focus on Bitcoin or XRP or Cardano, I, you know, and there's no disrespect to those channels, of course, because I use them for inspiration. I look up to some of those guys, but I am bringing you the perspective of not only somebody who is fairly new to the space, guys, I've only been in it two years, but I'm bringing you the perspective of somebody who is who does not know how this stuff works. Retail. <laughs> okay, my whole professional background is in retail, marketing, advertising, promotion. I've said it before. So that means that I'm coming with the mindset of a customer as well as somebody who is selling something to per to a person. Okay? So, with those two aspects put together i'm seeing things in a different way guys that's how i saw this metaverse thing coming that is why i want to bring you i brought you this point here okay 
And just to summarize, the metaverse, blockchain games, and the next stage of NFT development is being built on Ethereum and Binance, with the exception of Tron, Solana, and Wax. Okay? Wax is able to do their own thing because they have their own blockchain. Okay? And I believe Polkadot could not finish this video without having Polkadot being mentioned because they're doing it as well. All right? But that's only five. So it's important to remember the infrastructure of the metaverse. What's what it, it's composed of from a technical perspective because that's gonna keep it alive, okay? That is why I put this video together, guys. It was a thought after, you know, putting my research together, something after I meditated on it for a while, I pieced it together and I wanted to bring it to you guys because I felt it was a very valid point, okay? I did give you my video earlier of the top eight metaverse coins, okay? But you could say, you could cap that eight with these two. Because without these two, without Ethereum and Binance, there is no metaverse. Not one that we can look at. So, oh, by the way, Decentraland, Decentral Games, but that's still ERC20. So, with all that being said, guys, if you found value in this video, of course, you know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. If you have anything, any opinions, questions, comments, of course, let me know. Am I completely crazy? <laughs> Let me know. I mean, I could just be a mad scientist and just throwing out random theories, you know, some kind of loony, but I, I, I don't think I am. So with that being said, guys, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But of course, like I said, let me know. Let me know down in the comments, guys, because that's how we build. Again, that's how we build. That's how we learn. That's how we grow together. So with all that being said, I want you to have a great day. Have a prosperous day. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And most importantly, let's make this money. All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow.